They've been popping up in neighborhoods and of corners all over the world, and you may even have one or two in your own community. Little free libraries offer a space to take or leave a book, promoting reading and creating community. Veronica Cooper explains. Let's take that one. You can call these two the Rutledge Park Little Free Library Caretakers. We love books and we've always wanted to have a little library in our community. We constructed it, some friends helped us out, we didn't really have the tools because we live in an apartment. And the city of Saanich helped us out with the stand and the cement pad and we installed it about a month and a half ago. So where do the books come from? Some of them come from our own collection. We took advantage of the Times Colonist book sale this year to pick up a few extras of some popular books so that we would have a few to stock the library throughout the year. And books come from the neighborhood too. So it's a take a book, leave a book kind of policy. So you can not only find free books in the library, but you can also drop off some of your favorites or just pass along books that you're no longer using. It's a great way to move them along and share in the community. We love little libraries because they act as a sort of coral reef for community. So when you're out checking the little library, you run into a neighbor, you learn about their taste in books, you actually get to meet people you wouldn't otherwise run into. There are more than 100 little libraries across Greater Victoria. Teal and Stephanie are determined to map them all. So basically we're asking the public to help us map little libraries. Let us know if there's one in your neighborhood, let us know where it is, and if you can snap a picture of it and send it in, then we can help build a map and, and make it a little bit more complete. So it's been a great response. People find a box that's not on our map, they can upload the information with our online form, and we've been getting probably a couple of uh, submissions every day of library boxes rather that we're adding to our map. And you just might find a treasure like Stephanie did. A nonfiction from the 1920s written by a maid. So, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Learn more at the links tab on our website. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.